Hello. Sir, we are, we are making the quantum computers and quantum sensors and quantum communications and all. So in our lab, I to tell you, yes, you know, quantum quantum technology lab. So these are some modules. To enable these technologies, we need a high precision diode laser. So there are some lasers. So this is the one laser and this is blue laser. And this one is the green laser. So we are, uh, we will be cold the atoms. So here is the cold atoms, high, ultra high vacuum chamber, 10 to power minus 9 milliwatt temperature. And then we trap the atoms around 12 micro Kelvin, then we have to load the atoms in optical filter. So these are the qubit array of 100 by 100. And then we are manipulating the pulse, so some big bulb blockade and choose this uh, to, uh, for, for the computing and simulations. And also we are uh, making them uh, field deployable quantum sensors for, uh, for gravity measurement and for atomic magnet magnetometer for, uh, for small scale magnetic field. And, uh, uh, so uh, this, this setup is particularly for using for uh, trap the uh, graphite particles and also application in biological science to, for the single cell analysis and all. And we are also developing some educational fields for the things uh, uh, that come to to sell in the educational institutes in the colleges because uh, all educational institutes so Yesterday education. I was telling this gravimeter thing. Yeah. They have to now make it portable. So at the lab scale, uh, essentially you pull the atoms, make it like a well, like say 500 atoms and then you drop it the way and then you split them like light so the point is all of this now in few labs including theirs have been done in four or five places so the challenge which we have given all of them is to make it portable mm. because once you have a portable thing then you can take it to yeah, ship anywhere. you can take it to defense yeah. installations and all so that is their challenge in the next two three years let us see then how many institutes you are able to, as on today, quantum and ecosystem player, how many institutes are working? Sir, 40 plus. 40, 40 plus. Yes. And all are collaborating. That, yeah, is, that is also important. Uh, Networking so always. So this mission has a uniqueness. It's not individual PI. Yeah. It's, no. Yeah, that is important. So in each hub there will be about uh, 40 What about people? other countries? which is leading as sir, on today, currently in national, type of total ecosystem. Yeah, so I think in the national quantum mission type, the countries are having mission, yeah. Germany is having... Five seats, is having, but yeah. where are they? U.S. is really, if you look at the recent 2024 report, which has just come to yeah. a few day, two day, two days back. Okay, let me say it not to be quoted. India is right now at ninth place in quantum, or seventh place depending on the way you count. Our goal is in the mission from 7 to 3rd. So the first one is uh, US. Uh, uh, they have a good margin because they started early also. And then we have China and uh, France and Germany. So our goal is from 7th we have to jump to 3rd. So how so many years? So we in next 4-5 years I think. Uh, minimum four. because... Uh, sorry. You know I was saying in sensing and communication. We can, we can really be the top three in so, next three years. Yeah. And in computing, if we focus on algorithms for the first three years, we can make a difference. The way we did in software as a service. Yeah. That's where our strength should be also because mm -hmm. now you can buy time. Even before your computer comes here in one year, we should make... The only problem is even uh, IT software also, we miss mm -hmm. products. Product. Yes, that yes. is the biggest challenge yes, now. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. I, I always used to tell for the last 30 years, even now we are not moving. Yeah. That is the that is where we are having money and also yeah. scaling. We didn't do that like banking software or uh, like the, what Germany thing is. Uh, yeah. All that they had, took the lead. This is where we had to create challenges for our youth yes, yes. and institutions. Then they had to yes. break through. Now, earlier nobody used to understand that it's different, but now you are all there, yes. and PM and all of you. That's what are you doing? Sir, these are the communication. Lab, quantum labs. Communication. These are the labs that we would like to set up across engineering colleges. This is for the SSP minor program. So, AICT has already launched a minor program, sir. Hmm. Already nine universities from Andhra Pradesh. Sir, they have developed small, for teaching labs, you know, for. Uh, for students and other things. And now we have launched that program also for uh, setting up the teaching labs. You, you are having any programs, sir? Uh, now you are giving for institutes. That yes. is one. Yeah. And also we have to bring brilliant boys, institution of excellence, out to sink. 
urban yes. spoke model. Yes, that we are doing now in National Quantum Mission. Hmm. We are following the hub and spoke model only, hmm. where we have set up the hubs in the established institutions, hmm. and that is how these 40 institutions plus startups are involved. So okay. that is, and that is why I said that in the quantum teaching lab now we plan to set up in about 75 to 100 engineering colleges across the country. Yeah. So these kind of you know. Almost 60% of the lab equipment is here in this space. So you give us 15, 20, we will experiment, yes. we will take a leaf frog, we will inspire people. Hello, sir. Hi. Mm, uh, tell me. We are one of the very few companies that have a real-time quantum application, quantum inspired application. So what we essentially do is financial optimal portfolio optimization. So we use Fujitsu's EAU quantum inspired technology, it's a digital technology unit. So it contains around 8,200 bits. 64 bit processing power. So we upload portfolios of individuals or organizations and the portfolios are DFF and be balanced by the DAU capacity to provide suggestions on how to rebalance your portfolios based on the trends of today and it tells you which stocks are trendier and which stocks are bold or bold to give you suggestions on. So just to, to fill this, yeah. see there are two approaches. One is the quantum computing, other is the quantum annealers. So annealers is what they are talking, which is an optimization problem. It is not an algorithm based program. So this uh, quantum annealers came many years back. D-Wave is one of the famous companies. So the advantage of them is that if you have an optimization problem, you can do it. So like last week, uh, Chinese people announced that 22 uh, bit RSA code has been broken by D-Wave annealers, which is very scary now. Because quantum annealers is a slightly reduced version of quantum computers because of all the gates and all. So I am saying whatever we thought will happen three years down the line has already started happening. So quantum annealers, uh, you are making them or you are using them? Fujitsu. Ah, Fujitsu. So D-Wave, Fujitsu, they have come out with annealers which are not worried about fault and all that, unlike quantum computers. So I just thought... And also they can run on simulators also. <laughs> simulators mm -hmm. also. So they can so run on high-performance computers. So it's also. a bit, uh, I mean, it's, uh, as I said, it will happen sooner than later. Yeah. It, it is always challenges and opportunities and innovations will go <laughs> parallelly. <laughs> Very interesting. Hello, sir. Om Namo Hello. We are from uh, Quantum Clairvoyance from Hyderabad. And our CEO is an ex-army colonel, great at some signals. He was more keen in breaking the enemy communication. So after coming out, he, he felt always that a country is more strong if it's a product oriented rather than a service oriented. So keeping that in mind, he developed three good products which we have launched last month itself. One is, which is already on the, on, as in the drug discovery. Uh, to do a drug discovery, uh, it takes a lot of time. But we are not into the clinical trials. So we find the right compound and we'll tell that which compound is more effective and more efficient, which gives more performance before it goes to the clinical process. So if the cycle is four years, we reduce it to one and a half years.